Robert, are the folks with Team Canada surprised that you made it in 2012? Yeah, very, very surprised. Um, you know, they were pegging me as a 2016 hopeful. Uh, I was on the last uh, World Junior team in 2010. And, uh, you know, it was in Canada. So there's a lot of the, uh, the high ups of Athletics Canada, the, the, the managers and uh, officials. Those guys were there and they actually talked with us and they told us constantly at every meeting that you guys are 2016 hopefuls. And, you know, every, every one of those meetings, I was telling myself, no, I don't want to be, I don't want to wait. Uh, another four years. I want to make in the next one. So, yeah. So. Are you surprised? Uh, no, I'm not surprised. Um, I, I guess I'm surprised as, as to like how fast I, I ran, but um, I'm not surprised. You know, like I told myself, I want to I want to make it here, and uh, this has been uh, my biggest dream for the past four or five years. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. Do you have a working knowledge as a field and some of the top runners that you've been competing against? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of them are uh, <laughs> guys that I've looked up to for a very, very long time. So it's it's very exciting. Like very, who, can you name some? Uh, Kenanisa Bekele, world record holder, 5K, 10K. I've looked up to him ever since I started uh, running. Mo Farah, he's from UK. He's running in, in his hometown. I looked up to him. And he's, you know, the favorite. So I'm, yeah, it's it's going to be an honor. I'm going to be starstruck, I think, once I, once they call us into the call calling area, <laughs> and I'm standing right in front of them. So how neat is this for you to watch his development here over the last few years? That was inc incredible. Um, you know, you, you get a, a kid coming in at 18 years of age, and he's a junior athlete. He's represented Canada on the world stage and at junior championships, whether it's cross country or indoor or outdoor. Um, championships major world championships and you always hope and pray that the next level is going to be you know competing at the, on the big stage at the at the senior level and when that comes to fruition it's fantastic i mean obviously the pinnacle of that is the olympic games everybody every young kid dreams of you know representing their country in the olympic games and um you know Muhammad, Muhammad's going to do that in, in a week and a half with his background with the canadian uh, national team did you think it was Seriously, realistic that he could reach the Olympics. You know, at the start of the year, it was the goal, and in the the A standard, it was you know out there 27:45 is a little dawning for a 21-year-old uh, collegiate kid. Um, there aren't many collegians um, that can run that fast, and uh, you know we kind of prepared for it. Um, going out to Stanford for the uh, the Peyton Jordan race, um, you know, it was just get in there see what you have but to be honest as his coach i have to say that you know that 27 45 was wow you know is this going to happen can it happen i can honestly say now that you know i was looking at somewhere around 20 28 minutes 28 10 and and just to see him get stuck in there in room with the, some of the best distant guys in the collegiate level in the country and obviously some great pros was just fantastic what's, what's realistic for you then um Definitely, you know, anything's possible. You don't know. Um, anything can happen. Everybody right there is, there's, it's, it's an even field as soon as you're at the starting line. And anything can happen, you know. I could be destined to be the winner. I don't know. I have no idea. So I'm just going out there to enjoy it and not put any pressure on myself. See, uh, get experience for the, for the future um, championships to come, world championships, Olympics wherever uh, Pan Am's, whatever uh, the adventure leads me to. Yeah. So. You can